going on YouTube and welcome back to our Artemis Let's Play. If you haven't already, definitely go back and watch the other episodes in this series. And while you're there, hit that subscribe button. It would really help and appreciate it. Let's get on with it. We left off here with Naomi in the gun range and it sounds like we're about to have a competition. So let's see what we got here. Let's see, look at Naomi or get started. She's got a pretty good stance, focused, certainly takes this serious. And of course, real nice legs. Liking what you see? Sorry, you've got a good stance, that's all. Thanks. Okay, just FYI, it's been years since I fired a gun. Do you at least remember how to pull the trigger? Yes. Well, fire one off just to get a feel and then we'll start for real. Alright, when the hologram appears, just do your best to aim and shoot at the intended target. These things are on a timer to help us train speed and accuracy. For this free shot, I'll disable it so you can get the hang of the target. Alright, hit a marker on the target. Great, you hit the 10 marker. Alright, Jones, that's okay, so it looks like... So it sounds like whenever the target comes up, you have to shoot it in the middle as best as you can, as quick as you can. Uh, the targets will be on timers and you'll need to be sharp. Get ready. Let's see if I can do this. Oh God, double click, it doesn't look like I have to double click to actually have it register. Ooh, I mean, a little bit off there, but Judging by the pattern that's coming up, should be over here. Let's see, over here. It's pretty basic so far. It's on a straight line, which is helping. Yeah! That felt real fucking good. Let's compare. I got 115. I get it pretty good. You modest motherfucker. Sorry. What the fuck for? 140 is impressive as fuck for someone who hasn't fired a gun in years. Good shit, Jones. This was fun. Yeah, the vibe was different today for me. We should do this again. Yeah, for sure. I worked up an appetite. Where are you taking me? My all-time favorite place. We're gonna hit up this awesome food truck down the street. I'm sure you'll love it. It's so good. Nothing beats straight food. Sounds awesome. Lead the way. Ooh, I like street food. Ooh, what do we got? What kind of food? Hey, Chaco, you got a permit for this piece of junk? I'm shutting this dump down. Come on, pack your shit up. Unless uh, you're willing to slide a few free tacos this way. Order 89. <laughs> and a good evening to you too, Naomi. Your usual. You know it. Don't skip it on the chill, you bum. <laughs> of course not. And what will your friend be having? Chaco, this is Jones. Jones, Chaco. Guy makes the best fucking food. How's it going, Chaco? Living the dream, my friend. Can I get you anything? What do you recommend? Tacos. Gotta get the tacos. Extra chili. Warn the guy, Naomi. The chili has a serious kick, so keep that in mind. Oh, uh, no chili, light chili, or extra chili? Okay. I ain't backing down. Give me that extra chili. I like it spicy. You know what? Yeah. Go ahead and nuke them bitches. Right on. This guy ain't no bitch. <laughs> that a boy. Tell you what, though. I'm gonna put it off to the side, in case it's not your liking. Good looking out. Thanks, Jocko. No problem, boss. Food does smell really good. You have no idea. I mean, sure, I wouldn't mind going to a fancy restaurant and tearing into a $50 medium rare. But this man cooks with his soul, and it turns out so fucking good for like a tenth of the cost. Anyways, I gotta say, Jones, not bad shooting back there. You seriously haven't shot in years? Um, yeah, probably like 10 years or something. It was my favorite thing to do with my mom. Now that I think of it, tonight is probably...
probably the first time I've fired a gun since. Seriously? Yeah. Jones, Naomi, orders up. Add these to my tab, Chaka. Thanks. <laughs> of course. Thanks, Jaco. We'll bring back your baskets. Come on, Arcadia Park looks super chill right now. Here's a good spot. Let's grub. I hope the chili is actually flavorful and not just wow factor hot. There goes nothing. Huh? Wipe that grin off your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> How you feeling? <laughs> fuck you, Naomi. <laughs> it gets better, trust me. Fuck me. <laughs> Dude, how do you not have taste buds, Naomi? <laughs> Holy shit. What's this stuff made from? It's really fucking good. Oh, it's also really fucking hot. It's like it kicks you right in the balls at first, and then stomps in them for good measure. After that taste. Man, that's good. <laughs> I'm glad you tried it, Jones. It's nice hanging out with someone adventurous. Feeling better? I'm not gonna judge if you want a swig of water. Uh, no, she likes the tough guy. I'm good. I'm good. I can finish this. <clears throat> I was just cut off guard. Hey, Naomi? I don't think I've thanked you yet, but thanks for doing whatever you did last week. Your brother almost arrested me. Then he said you guys were trying to get a hold of me or something. So, um, thanks. I'll mention it. But June is who you should be thanking. And I'm just being honest here. I don't think any of us would really give a shit about you were it not for June. She was pretty torn up about the whole thing for like, however long that situation was. He deserves credit too. She had a chat with June and got everyone together to help resolve the matter. While being discreet, Paige told us you were going through some heavy stuff. So we acted accordingly. I have to say, June is a hard girl to impress, so the fact that she has a ton of respect for you says a lot. Can I ask what the hell that whole thing was about? I, um, it was just a shit week. Got evicted from a shitty ass apartment, got every door slammed on my face at every interview, ran into someone I used to trust, and just mentally shut down, handled the whole thing completely wrong. Fuck, dude. Sorry about your shitty week, but there are better ways to handle shit like that. How would you have handled it? Haha. <laughs> I don't know. I just said that because I didn't know how else to respond to that. <laughs> Can I ask why your tood was so bitchy earlier? I'm always bitchy. Fine. Extra bitchy. Uh, well, obviously I love my bro. But god fucking damn. Stop pairing me with the fucking newbies during training. This is all the damn time. Of course, I end up losing all the damn time as a result. Fuck! One of these days, I'll be good enough to just carry the newbies and wipe that fucking smile off my brother's face. What kind of training is this? Entry level arms training. It's basically airsoft though. I'm just there to assist the newbies, but he treats it like a competition and gets under my skin when we lose. Whatever. I'm done talking about it. I'm having a good time right now. Don't put me in a bad mood again. <laughs> all right, all right. Can I ask what you're studying? Christ, Jones, you building a case on me or something? I'm just curious about what you do. Fine. Criminology. You looking to be an investigator or like a detective? Something like that. Or are you gonna end up taking the law in your own hands and become a vigilante? This is my city, and I protect her. Don't fuck with my city. <laughs> hey, do you think something like an android would benefit the police department? Um, yeah? 
Really? Jones, the police force is a real dangerous career choice. I mean, not always. We get calls from something as petty as, Oh no, my boyfriend's ex keeps prank calling me. Help. But then there's other calls. Noise complaint. Witness says they heard yelling, for followed by gunshots. Probably a homicide. Is the suspect mentally stable? So many possible threats could be hiding behind the door before we kick it open. I mean, speaking on my own head cannon of what an android could do, it could assess the situation better? Do androids get stressed or can handle stress better? Do we have the technology to scan people and interpret a person's psyche? How stressed is the suspect? Is the suspect acting on fear, stress? Are they on any drugs? Maybe the scan, maybe scan the perimeter for any other dangers? Are there any threats hiding, waiting to ambush? Are there bombs or other devices rigged to prevent intruders? It would be nice to send an android into the danger first and save an officer's life. The police force could use something like that. Prevent unnecessary deaths to good cops. Uh oh. That seemed like a real thought out answer. Ooh, she is not happy. Oh god, cry eyes. Yep. It's getting late. We should head back. Definitely something happened. Are you okay? Always. Let's get going. Uh, she's definitely not okay. She was quiet the whole ride back. Night, Naomi. Hey, Jones. Yeah. You're alright. Tonight was good. Thanks. No problem. Get home safe. Good night. Yeah, something definitely happened. Like, those are definitely some cry eyes. Wow, props, dude, for sticking to your new schedule. You're rubbing off on me. Got me waking up early now. I hate it. Well, don't blame me. It's your choice to wake up when you do. Yeah, yeah. Anywho, good morning to you. Smack. Just getting more affectionate as we go on here. What? Nothing. I'm still acclimating to confident Kendra. Back in high school, you were so timid. I remember you used to get all red whenever I put my hand on your shoulder. Fuck you. I did not. Don't get all pissy. It was cute. <laughs> what do you got going on today? Mostly going over things before the big run tomorrow. Patch up Artemis's neck and shin, then go over Coco's new body one more time. Oh, did you need me to disconnect from Artemis? Nope. Also, I was wondering, do you have anything Artemis could wear? Feels kind of wrong having her just out in the open like that. Um, actually, I think I have something that would fit her. Be right back. Yeah, that's a lot easier for me, too. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> yeah, this is much easier for me. It saves me uh, less editing. Yeah, they're both her size. Huh? That's my ex's shirt. Her and Artemis are about the same bust. Your ex knows about your DJ career? <laughs> no. I told her I bought it online. Although, I think she thought I was, like, cheating or something because of how secretive I would be about some things. My career, Coco, this place. You all right, Kendra? I'm fine. The fact is, dating isn't easy for me because I hate keeping secrets. But I can't just share all this with everyone I get serious with. Let's change the subject. <laughs> I'm going to patch up some segments on Artemis. Okay. Oh, uh, Kendra, I got disconnected. Shit, sorry. I guess I do need her offline while I do this. I can work on her later. Don't worry about it, I needed a break anyways. This might take a few hours. All good, I'll find something to do. Huh? Hello? Good morning, Aiden. It's Paige Fox, president of Loda New Kappa Sorority. I'm calling in response to the email received last night regarding DJ Rec. 
uh, play along or wrong? Let's play along. Let's see if we can floor. Oh, yes, Miss Fox. Thank you for calling. I, um, the, uh, <clears throat> what's up? Firstly, I want to apologize for the injury DJ Rec has sustained. Oh, shit. Um, Paige, it's Aiden. Sorry, I just wanted to give you a hard time before saying you called the wrong Aiden. Oh, my God. Aiden, now is not the time for joking. Yeah, I caught on. I'm really sorry, Paige. Uh, it's fine. Paige, are you okay? You sound like you're on the brink of a meltdown. Uh, I'm freaking out. I just got an email from D DJ Rex Rep. He's supposed to be here for the party next week. And guess what? Apparently, he hurt his hand recently, and now they're canceling his bookings this month. He hurt his hand? Like, what are we talking about? Just a sprain or something? I mean, don't all DJs do is simple shit like, I don't know. Twist knobs and press buttons? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Watch where you're talking, dude. Fucking asshole. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be so lame if we have to resort to just playing some mixtape. You wouldn't happen to know anyone, would you? A real good amateur or something like that? <laughs> That's a face. <laughs> Twist knobs and press buttons. I'll get punch your knob next chance I get. <laughs> Ink deserves a superstar, and DJ Kink is literally 10 feet away from me. Let me just ask her. <clears throat> Sorry, Paige. I'm not as cool as you think I am. <laughs> What's worth a shot? You gonna be okay? No. I hate when my plans fall apart. I feel like I've let a lot of people down. I should have planned for a backup in the event something like this happened. Well, I've got an hour or two to kill. Want some company to help you take your mind off of for a bit? Yeah, perhaps taking a break can help clear my mind. Want to shoot some hoops with me? Sounds fun. Let's do it. Great. Mind meeting me at the university? I have a class in about an hour and a half. No problem. See you in a bit. Only thing I really know about Paige is she's a coffee addict. Grab a coffee for Paige. Hmm, I'm sure this will boost her score. So let's do yes. Age poured out an order on the night of the comp. That was a while back, though. Oh, shit. Yes, when she was drunk. Oh, no. Um. Oh, Christ. I do these in batches, too. So what seems like not that long for you guys is actually a lot longer for me. So I record these in generally three episodes at a time, three to four, depending on my work schedule. Um, Christ. Uh, let's see if I can remember this. Uh, I'm going to go non-fat, no whip, vanilla, triple shot. Sure. Sounds kind of basic, but I think that's what it was. Basic? That's not basic. Hey, Kendra, I'm going to jam out for an hour or two. Need me to bring you anything on the way back? Huh? Oh, um, any fruit smoothie, please. All right, I got you. Drive safe. Let's see how well I did here. Should have got myself one, too. Sniff, sniff. Smells really good. Aiden! What are those glasses? It's really great seeing you. You too! Here, picked this up for you on the way. Aw, I now know who to call when I need my spirits lifted. Sniff, sniff. Oh my god! This is perf- oh, hey, yes! Perfect! Your alter ego, drunk page, spilled the coffee beans. Non-fat milk, no whip, triple shot vanilla latte. That's so... okay. <laughs> she really loves coffee. Ah, uh, yes. The infamous drunk page. Kudos to your amazing memory. How the f I got so goddamn lucky. <laughs> I got so lucky. You're real sweet. Consider my spirits lifted already. Hey, so any solutions to your problems since our chat? 
Not yet, but I'm trying to take my mind off it for the moment. I'm sure you'll figure something out. It's gonna be a miracle, I'll say that much. Well, I'm here to hang out and forget about it for the moment. I hope you weren't waiting long. Probably like five minutes, no big deal. Woo! Center point hounds! So, you familiar with the game? Kind of? No worries, it's real simple. You can bounce the ball with one hand. That's a dribble, and bouncing it with both hands is considered a double dribble. And you can't double dribble. Whenever you want to move with the ball, you have to dribble it. You're allowed to at least you're allowed at least one step of movement without dribbling. Anymore, it's considered illegal. That's the basics. We're just having fun, so I won't get into points. Cool, go ahead and start things off. As you wish. Alright. The block, reach for the ball, nudge her or wait. Go for the block. Ah! Oh, you're slippery. I point. Block, reach, or wait. Let's wait. Hey! Get juked, pal! My point. Shit. Uh, reach. Nope. Ah, uh, you're pretty quick. Schooled. Phew. Okay, we just got wrecked. <laughs> quick break? Yeah, sure. Hey, did you happen to see Naomi this morning? No, not this morning. But she's usually up and out before everyone else. Why do you ask? We hung out last night at the gun range, and later we chatted about random things. One of the topics got pretty heavy, and she sort of just shut down and called it a night. Yeah, that sounds like her. She does that when she herself gets emotional over something. She hates expressing herself like that, especially in front of new people she's met. She'll be fine next time you speak to her. Just don't push the subject. If she deems you worthy, she'll let you see that side of her. Okay, just wanted to make sure she was okay. So, what's new with you? I heard someone is thinking about starting their own business. Ah, Raina mentioned our little rendezvous. <laughs> Not directly. I knew she was trying to get a hold of you after the whole fiasco. So I kept asking if you were coming on board until she finally gave me the scoop. She was pretty abrupt to join us, but happy to hear you're considering going on your own. Raina loves hearing about new entrepreneurs. Ah, well, it's still on the table at the moment. I haven't decided yet if this is the path for me. I guess you could say I'm still sort of on a trial period right now until I figure out if it's right for me. Well, it's good you're taking your time to consider it. Rain has told me so many stories of these startups that just jump straight into it without a solid vision. Total disaster. I'm sure she's offered already, but should you decide, I know Rena would love to help guide you. Thanks, Paige. Of course. And with that is actually where we're going to leave it off for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you on the next one.